thing that's really, really important to Startup Weekend events all over the world is to let everyone know how much fun we have. And to help us do that, I would like to ask all of you to post to social media account, to Facebook, to Twitter, and use the SWCluge hashtag. And just to get you started, I'm going to do like a selfie with every one of you in the back. Almost screaming sort of weekend, right? So we can start this social media thing, okay? So, ready? Wait. One, two, three, go! Alright, so I expect all of you to do pretty much something similar. Yeah, selfies, no selfies, whatever. If we manage to have so many selfies online with the SWPUS hashtag, that would be amazing. Okay, so we talked about uh, people that uh, were part of this event, but we also need to give a big, big round of applause to the coaches. So if the coaches are here, please stand up, guys. These are amazing individuals that you can learn so much from. So what I would like to advise you is to go on the Startup Weekend Cluj webpage and read their profiles. <laughs> Try and learn what they know just to make sure that tomorrow when they will be talking to you, you know exactly what's their area of expertise and how they can help your startup succeed. I mean, these are the people that will help you move forward at least three to five months just by talking to you if you are smart enough to get all the, the right questions so that you get all the right answers from them to help you push forward with the project. So yeah, thank you guys for being here. So, since a lot of you have, uh, are here just for the very first time, let me tell you a little bit about Startup Weekend. So Startup Weekend is a not-for-profit organization based in Seattle. Uh, we have European headquarters in London, and we do a bunch of events just like this all over the world. There are more than 150,000 alumni, which you will be on Sunday afternoon. More than 1,500 ventures have been started at Startup Weekend events, and we are present in more than 500 cities all over the world. So, what's going to happen in this weekend? So hopefully, in this weekend, you'll meet a co-founder, learn a new skill, Build your team and learn how to validate an idea. And uh, hopefully with the validation part, we're going to have a lot of fun during the weekend. <coughs> and since we are a global uh, organization, there are 21 Startup Weekends events happening this very weekend. We do almost a thousand in a year worldwide. So this is really a huge community and Luz is right there. So. Normally, we do a little break now, but we're just going to move forward because we're not really into breaks, right? We're looking forward to get the pitching started. So, what's going to happen with the pitching session? We're going to form a line over there, and you will get the microphone and one minute to pitch. Be very careful, we're going to have an official timer, and exactly right over there, and once the 60 seconds are up, you will have to shut up and give the microphone to the next person. And if you keep on talking, I am big enough to kick you off the stage. Trust me, I will do it. Then, we're gonna move on to the voting part. When you finish pitching, you're gonna go to that table over there where you need your registration. You're gonna get a big piece of paper. You're gonna write the name of your idea and the short description so that people remember what your idea was all about, right? That's your, your marketing, that's your advertising there. You leave the piece of paper with the organizers and we're gonna post all the ideas here on the wall so that people can vote. You, each and every one of you got two little post-its, two little uh, uh, things to vote, right? You all have them? Yeah. All right, so you can vote with those. You can vote for your own idea because you're supposed to like your idea very, very, very much. You can use one vote or two votes or whatever. It's your vote. Then, we're gonna choose, I think, 12 teams. We're gonna choose the 12 ideas with the biggest number of votes. 
And then we're going to form the team so each and every one of you can join any team, any idea that they want. Then you're going to do the brainstorming and we're going to have the coaches tomorrow. And on Sunday, we're going to show the judges an MVP, which is a minimum viable product. So, how is the pitch process going to be? As I told you, we're going to form a line over here. 60 seconds to pitch on stage and then write your idea. Please remember this. It's on simple right now, but with all the emotions that are coming on the stage, you might tend to forget. That's why I say it twice. Some questions. Can I be something I have been already working on? No. If by that, you mean coding. If you did research, if you talk to people, if you try to get opinions, if you did some reading, that's perfect. We love informed ideas. But if you started coding, we cannot allow you to do that because it would be unfair towards the other participants. So if you pitch an idea that you already started working on and we find out, we will allow you to work during the weekend. But when you do your final presentation on Sunday, you will not be able to win any of the awesome prizes. And we do have awesome prizes. So please keep it fair towards everyone. Can I pitch two ideas? Well, ideally, you should only try to build one Facebook this week, okay? <laughs> but if you insist, and you're like a fountain of amazing ideas, we're gonna let you do like two or three pitches, but only, only if you insist, okay? Remember, focus is important. What if my idea isn't selected? Well, you can join another team. I mean, this whole process is about learning, about meeting new people, about finding out how can you start a startup. So, don't worry, it might be your first time pitching, maybe you didn't explain the idea properly, or maybe the idea is just bad, but do join another team, because you're gonna have so much fun. Can I still work on my idea if it's not selected? Yes, because we like people that do not take no for an answer. So, if by some miracle, you don't get enough votes, or you don't get any votes, but you still manage to convince two people to join your crazy idea, you're in. Just let us know and you can continue working during the weekend. Can I use any pitch props and slides when I do the one minute pitch? Well, props and smart gadgets are all right, but we do not have time for slides. You're gonna have plenty of time to play with slides on the presentation that you will be doing on Sunday in front of the judges. So no slides tonight. Will someone steal my idea? Well, as you will see during the weekend, it's not really about the idea. It's about the execution and about the team. And chances are that the idea is not really unique in the first place. And usually people don't steal ideas because they each come with their own little baby idea. So they, at the beginning, they don't really care about their ideas. So don't worry about it. The, the thing that you will learn once you step into the startup community is that everyone encourages you to share your ideas. That's the only way to get feedback, so no one will steal your idea. And if they do and they execute better, well, you just need to learn how to execute. So moving on, what should a pitch look like? So you start with, hey, this is my name, that's the part that people usually forget, and then you move on to the really juicy part. What is the problem that you're trying to solve? Now please be very, very clear about this. If you do not explain clearly what's the problem that you're trying to solve, people will have no incentive to vote for you or to really bother about what you're saying, okay? Then, what's your solution? So once you describe the problem, you can move on to explain why the crazy solution is the perfect one and you're gonna make a billion dollars. When you explain your solution, please do not describe the problem. Don't go like, I want to build a web page where you can click here and then open it, no. No, that's not the solution, that's the product. Now, amaze people with your very interesting idea about how you're going to fix it. And then, don't forget to finish with who do you need on your team. Do you need developers, do you need marketing people, do you need designers, so on. So don't forget this part, because it's critical that you get all the necessary skills in your team, okay? How many... Developers do we have here tonight? Please raise your hands. Good, good. That means we're going to have awesome uh, MVPs by Sunday. 
How many designers do we have here tonight? Okay, please stand up, designers. Please stand up. Please stand up. Okay, look at them. Hunt them down. Alright? Hunt them down, recruit them, do whatever it takes to get them in your team. How many non-tech people? Good. You need to come with cash by Sunday. Right. <laughs> I want cash. That's the ultimate validation. Okay, so, time to pitch. Before that, any other questions? That's the time to ask any other questions. Are you sure? Everything is clear. I did my job very well then. <laughs> Me so happy. So, let's form the line for the pitching. And I'm just gonna mention that usually the people that pitch at the beginning get remembered most. So it's up to you. <laughs> but I would advise you to jump in the line right now. So we're go just gonna go with the microphone from person to person so we don't lose time. And at any time during the, the pitches, you can still continue to join the line, okay? I've run better than you did. When you stretch your quad up.